Well, good morning, everyone. It's the 14th of May, 2019. I'm Colin. I'm Jana. Shuzzy. And today, we... It's very early, actually. It's, uh, it's just gone 5 a.m. And uh, we are about to head to London Gatwick because we are going to be spending a few days in Rome, which will be very exciting. Booked quite a while ago. It's finally here. It's actually a beautiful morning. Uh, but very, it's, it's, considering how early it is, it's actually very bright outside, so it's sort of throwing me that it's only 5 a.m. Um, but today is going to be a long day of traveling, but very much looking forward to uh, going to Rome. Yes. Which is where so we're so excited, we're, we're giddy with tiredness and excitement. Yeah, I'm starving hungry. Yeah, and very hungry as well. Um, so we paid for parking at Gatwick, so we're going to head there now. It's about a 20 minute drive from where we are now about a 25 minute drive to Gatwick. Uh, we'll get parked, hopefully get a shuttle bus to the airport because we're going for the North Terminal and then we will take from there. So come along for the journey, which I'm sure will be a very fun, enlightening and just a jolly old time in Italy. Over and out. Oh, over and out. <laughs> I was on camera. Shop at the airport. Look at tag, that's quite cool, isn't it? Only six pounds. Is it? This bag is driving to Hogwarts. If I'm pleased to return to platform nine for quarters. That is nice. How much is it? Six pounds. It's nice. Do you need a luggage tag as well? Should we get two? Should we get two? For future travels. That is nice. They're cute, aren't they? They are really nice. Thank you. Albus Dumbledore. I'd, I'd want to take Why don't you come to the airport like, oh, I want to buy one. First child stuff. Well, Muggle worthy. Look at the keyring shows. Look. I love the cutest little thing I've seen. That is really cute. Is that a little dobby? A little dobby. Why is it so small? <laughs> <laughs> I really like some of these keyrings. It's like a mini time to it. Yeah, it's better than we got, isn't it? That's oh, really nice. Is that love potion? That's what I mean. Yeah. I've got a. Uh, <laughs> what did you get when you went to Rome? Oh, we went. We got a load of Harry Potter stuff in the airport. <laughs> we need this for uh, our flat. Either the Hogwarts plaque or the dying on our lease sign. Cheap. I'm joking. Nice t shirts. I know. I personally think I would look adorable. In that jumper. The H. Problem is, there's no H oh in my God, name. Yeah. There's, there's no H in my name, so it'd be a bit pointless. But what's your favourite house? Is it Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, or Hufflepuff? I do like the Hufflepuff yellow. Then no one wants to be in Hufflepuff. I prefer Ravenclaw. 
No, Ravenclaw's the smart people, so you'd go in there. Would I? Hufflepuff is for everyone else, who's like no good at anything, so I'll be in Hufflepuff. Brave? That's not you. No, I'm not brave. I'm not cunning, which is slivering. <laughs> slivering. I'm not smart, which is Ravenclaw, so I'll, I'll just be Hufflepuff. What is it? It's a bookmark. Oh my god, is that a bookmark? <laughs> that is a door. It was not as fugly. Did you say it was? Fugly. After a long day of travelling, we are finally here at the Mercure <coughs> Centro <coughs> Colise Bless you. Sorry. Colosseum Hotel. Mercure, I think it's called, or Mercury Colosseo Centro Hotel. Basically, oh we are about a five minute walk from the Colosseum. Behind us, the Colosseum is down there. You can't see it from our window. I'll show you. Really? Can't see it, but just to the left of that um, palm tree, the Colosseum is there. So we are, we couldn't be any closer really to the Colosseum, which is cool. Uh, the hotel's really nice. We've uh, we got back here about a couple of hours ago actually. We had a bit of a snooze because we're absolutely exhausted. And uh, now we're going to go and see the Trevi Fountain. We've seen uh, the weather's going to be pretty poor tomorrow. It's going to be pouring down with rain. Typically, we're going to the Colosseum, so we're going to be outside all day, but. What can you do? So we're going to go to the Trevi Fountain now. It's about just gone five. We've got a dinner reservation at a restaurant down the road at seven. It's about a 20 minute walk from our hotel. So it should be fine to do that. Um, we're going to try and find a supermarket as well because we're parched and there's no, uh, you have to pay for the drinks here. There's Shuzzy. Uh In the mini bar down here. Um, you have to pay for them all. Um, but yeah, it's uh, all gone smoothly. Everything's gone well. The um, transfer from here, from the, ho the airport to here, um, took about an hour, um, driving left a lot to be desired and it's just proved the point that I never want to drive in mainland Europe ever because it scared the hell out of me, uh, which was annoying, but the flight was fine. So now we just need to try and plan our free dates here, make sure we see everything. Um, it's supposed to be sunny on Thursday, typically that's when we're going to the Vatican, so we're going to be inside most of the day on Thursday. It's unfortunate we couldn't do it the other way around, but we'll try and make the most of tonight. We're going to go uh, as they see the Drury Fountain, maybe try and go to the Spanish Steps as well. Uh, we'll see how today goes. Um, do you need to check out, there is a terrace pool in this hotel as well. There's a rooftop pool with a bar, which has a nice view out over Rome. So we need to go see that as well. The pool will probably be um, Thursday now, we're in it Friday morning. The pool? Yeah. Thursday, we can't do Thursday morning because we have to go to the Vatican, don't we? Friday morning probably. Or maybe even fr or maybe even first evening. What well, the evening, yeah. Might need that after a lot of long long day of yeah, walking. Yeah, maybe first evening. Yeah. What do you think of the Trevi Fountain? Did you throw money in? Yes. That means we have to come back to Rome, there's no choice. No. Ready? Yeah.
Quick look at this church, then we'll go. Shows all this. Octopus. Octopus uh, legs. Then. She only has octopus legs. Does she have to work then? It's actually tentacles. <laughs> oh yeah, octopus tentacles. Looks delish. And I've got the uh, crab pie. Which also looks very nice. You guys, look at this cheese. Look at that ring of cheese. Oh, it smells amazing. So I was just tucking in. Is it good? Yeah. Your carbonara tubes? Damn, sir. That is a big slab of lasagna. Sorry, I mean tiramisu. What's the verdict? Have it's really nice. Oh boy. I'm glad we didn't get one each. So that is it for our travel day. Day one in Rome. Shows you behind me. Back in the room now. We, as you saw, entered the Trevi Fountain, which is only about a 20 minute walk, so not too bad from the hotel, which is nice. And then we had, I'm gonna have to look at the name of this uh, restaurant so I don't forget it. Isidoro, isn't it? Hosteria Isidoro which was a lovely Italian restaurant down the road from, of course it's an Italian restaurant, a lovely restaurant down the road from our hotel. Uh, authentic Italian, um, we think. Amazing pasta, really good service. The starters are nice, the fish pie, and sharing the had um, octopus. And we had two pasta dishes and tiramisu to finish, which was delicious. Uh, we got some, I, I, sorry, I need to show you a bargain. We found a little supermarket down the road from us. Um, look at this, a pack, six bottles of 1.5 litre water, all six, 99 cents, under one euro. That is incredible, that's what, about 18 cents? 240, yeah, about 18 cents per bottle, that is bargain of the century. We need to somehow drink all those before uh, we leave on Friday, I'm sure we'll manage it. Because Shona drinks water like it's water really. But we're going to say goodnight now. Tomorrow's a long day. We're going to Colosseum, Roman Forum, Palatine Hill, maybe the Spanish Steps. We're going to try and fit in a lot tomorrow. Then Thursday it's the Vatican. So really looking forward to it. It's supposed to rain tomorrow but we are prepared. We've got our rain max and we've got warm clothing so it'll be fine. Could be good. So it's good night for me in my yellow holster top. Night for me in my flattery top. Yeah. No, in a lovely little cafe called Cafe Cafe, having breakfast. Oh boy. We're all to ourselves. I just have to say, that was one of the nicest hot chocolates I've ever had. The Italians sort of do know how to do hot chocolate right. I've forgotten the name of this place already. Can you remember what it is? Basilica of St. John? Lanterno, I think. There's quite a few of them. As you can tell, showing the modeling, the Mac and umbrella, it's very wet, it's very cold. But, it's a bit breezy. We are wearing enough layers. But I think it's worked in our favor because it's really empty. It's, I don't know how windy it's gonna come oh, up on. I don't know how many people are in there right now. Yeah. I don't know how windy it's going to come up on the camera actually, it might be really windy when I get the footage off, but very amazing uh, building, good photo ops. And what's great about the weather as well, trying to find the positives, is that we're trying to sell umbrellas, but I've got an umbrella, so they leave us alone. Well, yeah, it's a good point actually, yeah. <laughs> you always know where the big tourist attractions are in Rome, because of people trying to sell you stuff. Yeah. So. Yeah, you can obviously Just tell. Just make eye contact. Yeah, that's what you gotta do. But no, we're gonna go inside now. I don't know if I'll be able to film inside here. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty cool. 
and go through the security checkpoint. Let's go see what it's like inside. I was going to say, what's that over there? I think that's one for my guidebook. Let's zoom in. Looks very nice though. I'll look at my guidebook and see if I can find out what that is. Shows was busy texting. We're standing in the official cathedral, or the first cathedral of Rome. So this is the place that makes Rome a city. And this is just the entrance. Not even gone in it yet. Exciting. Buildings. It's one of the oldest buildings from. <laughs> it's one of the oldest buildings to look this good, basically. All the rest aren't as well preserved as this one. And the hole is nine meters wide. You could fit two of me up there. See the water, the rain coming through the hole. Yes, as I said, supposedly there's millions of tiny little holes in the floor where it drains away. It was a long walk, but we're here at the Pantheon. We're here in the Pantheon. Stop and wet. <laughs> Literally stopping. It's a very impressive building though. I sort of forgot that there was a big hole in the ceiling, so we're still not really away from the water and the rain. No, I don't remember it looking like this. Maybe we didn't come in. I remember there being some drama that we weren't allowed in because um, we had t-shirts on or something like that. So maybe we didn't come in. But it is a religious building, so maybe you had to have your shoulders covered. Yeah, I remember there being some drama, so maybe we didn't come in. 
I just remember sitting outside. <laughs> We've taken route. We found some chairs and we're not moving, we're very wet. It's a beautiful building, this pamphlet. I've never been here before. I don't think sure you've not been here. I think we've just been outside. I think we tried to come in, but someone didn't have the right clothing. Tell everyone what uh, you did last time you were here. <laughs> oh, yeah, I thought we couldn't come in. So we just had an ice cream and a soft drink or something outside and it was so hot and the square was all busy and it's a completely different story today. Complete contrast. It's still busy but it's fresh very well. in here. A lot of unhappy kids everywhere. A lot of screaming kids everywhere today which is understandable considering the weather. We've done well though. We've been outside in the rain since so about 10 a.m. Yeah and we're absolutely soaked but we've made the most of today. I think we were going to go to the Spanish Steps. I think we're going to miss that now. that's not an option though. But there is a Disney store near here, and there's also a Pandora. So we're gonna go to those, get some food, and then go back. I think. And then we'll save Roman Forum and Palatine Hill for tomorrow, along with the Vatican. But it's supposed to be sunny tomorrow, so hopefully. 20, tomorrow. 21 degrees. Yeah, so can, it's, I, I can't imagine it at the moment. It's so wet and bleak. It's not even that cold. It's the rain that's really, really cold. It's absolutely freezing. But the actual weather itself isn't too bad. It's just the rain. Can you see the rain on the camera coming through? Yeah. You see it coming through. We found a lint chocolate shop. And though these aren't new, it's absolutely massive. It's like if Charlie and the Ch if Willy Wonka's chocolate factory was real, I imagine it would look something like this, like that scene where they're in the garden with all the eatable <laughs> with the chocolate. Everything's made out of chocolate. Oh, that's like hundreds and hundreds of different type of lint chocolate. Oh, it looks so good. It's just so beautiful that the, the wrappers are so shiny. so shiny and I just want to jump in a big pool of them. <laughs> Amazing. I don't know if to get something like I do crepes as well. I don't know, I just don't know. New flavour. I love the Roman themed characters. So, of course, we've come to the Rome, it's Italy, it's Disney it's store. It almost looks like the. It's like the. Um, uh, it says, this is me just being a jokey. It's like the pamphlet, isn't it? That's meant to be the big bowl in the middle. Oh, yeah. Didn't notice that. Daisy in her gear. Yeah, a little mini pamphlet yeah. on the ceiling with hidden Mickeys around the edge. A bit disappointed there's not really much Rome exclusive no, merch. I thought there'd be something. No, disappointing. Mostly it's the same stuff we have in our uh, store near to where we live. I was willing to chuck money at Mickey in a. I don't know, what would you be in? Mickey in the gondola. <laughs> Gondola? You taught me on it. I know, but it didn't, it wasn't really Italy, it could have just been anything. Like, whenever you just like you're eating pasta. It's pasta. I like the pizza. I know it's just been a lot of me filming Shaw's eating today, but look at the size of that pizza. Mm. I got my carbonara. I'm, I swear by the end of this trip, it's only the first full day, but we're going to turn into a tube of pasta. Is it good? Good. Cool restaurant we're in. Eno Teca. It's got quite a long name, but it's really I nice. Even know how to pronounce it. Yeah. No. Wow. Cool. That's a big building. Very quick end to the day. It's been a very wet day, but we managed to get a lot done. 
went to the Pantheon, went to Colosseum, um, and went to Basilica de Laterno of St. John, I think it's called. So considering the awful weather, we managed to get quite a lot done. Had some really nice food at various restaurants uh, around the city. Uh, tomorrow we're going to the Vatican. It's supposed to be a lot nicer tomorrow. It's going to be sunny, a lot warmer, complete contrast to today. So we're going to try and do the Vatican, the museum, Sistine Chapel, maybe the Spanish Steps. We'll see how we go. So another busy day tomorrow. Hopefully a lot more filming because it's sunnier. We hope because it can't be any worse than it was today. But it's still been a fun day. See you tomorrow. Bye. Well, so it's our third day here and I still haven't done a room tour. So I'm going to very quickly, it's our last final, last full day. So I'm going to very quickly do a room tour. Please excuse the mess on that chair which has become our dumping ground. Uh, but we've got the shower room here. And this mess. Lovely big shower, which has been very nice. Uh, cool sink here. Big ass mirror. It's very weird um, watching yourself whilst you're in the shower. It's actually very weird, especially me when I'm a big limb filled mess. But uh, this is the bathroom. It's a bathroom, the shower room. Quite small. But good, shower's good. Enough room for everything. Uh, sort of lounge area here, there's a telly on the wall and the chair which is covered in clothes and stuff. Suitcase, obviously here, nice big wardrobe and very basic tea making facilities, safe. And the bed is here. Now the bed's actually quite uncomfy, it's very hard and there's sort of like a dip this side as well. Like showing the side's fine, but mine side there's like a dip here. So I'm like in a little alcove. Which is fine, I've not struggled to sleep because we've been so tired anyway, but uh, yeah, not the comfiest bed. Uh, lights, the lights are very limited in here, but uh, you know, they do the job. It's a big Colosseum picture above the bed, of course, why wouldn't there be? Um, another telly over there, behind Shona. Window here, now we can't see the Colosseum from here, but it's literally just around that corner. We can see the road at Song, can't we? Yeah, so, actually, we might be able to see if we can see it from this side, actually, I've not checked. Yeah, that's right. Let me see. Oh no, the window starts about here, so you can't see the Colosseum, but it's literally just down the road. Um, and there's another bathroom here, which is where the toilet is. Uh, another sink, big mirror. So obviously Shona's taking this for herself, because this is like the proper celebrity makeup preparation room. And I've taken the other one for myself. Um, see, my Mac is uh, still recovering from all the rain yesterday. But people, you'll be happy to hear, and Shona's happy as well that it's sunny today. Ooh, well, it's cloudy, but there's actually blue sky. Woo, but people are still wearing jackets and coats out there, which is They're wearing jackets and coats on Tuesday and it's boiling though, so. Yeah, so yeah, it should be a much better day today. Though typically, we're inside most of today because we're going to the Vatican, St. Peter's Square, and also the Vatican Museum, Sistine Chapel. So most of today is going to be inside, which is typical really. But we're also going to try and do the, um, Roman Forum and Palpatine Hill, which we didn't get to do yesterday. Palpatine, Pal Pal Palpatine's from Star Wars, that's embarrassing. Pal Palatine Hill, tomorrow, uh, today. We didn't get to do it yesterday because it's obviously awful weather. Um, so our ticket's valid for today as well, so if we get time we'll go and do that. But it's an hour walk from here to the Vatican, so it's going to be a long walk. And we're going to go walk to a place to get breakfast first, which is about a half an hour walk. So, very tiring day, but we almost did 20,000 steps yesterday, so Today, we should hopefully do about 30,000 steps. That'd be exciting, wouldn't it, Shaz? <laughs> Yee. That's our hotel over there. And that's the Colosseum. Pretty darn close. Complete contrast to yesterday. It's beautiful sunny weather today, and it's already like 15 degrees, and it's not even 10 o'clock yet. No. Unbelievable. You could, it could not be any more different to yesterday. Insane. Leonardo DiCaprio is right. Climate change. Thanks, Leo. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Do you think maybe they were compensating for something? <laughs> That's my Shrek reference. Big AF hot chocolate. Skinny mm -hmm. Huge. And obviously pastries. No idea what this is, but it looks delicious. Very crispy. Mm -hmm. 
Cool castle. We are heading to the, the Vatican. Just about to see it on the horizon over there. Time to apply some sun termination because it's hot. Time to look around the Vatican Museum. Catch me blow my nose, but well, wipe my nose. Just as the sun goes in. Another good find by us. Size so of your balls. Oh my God, my, look at the size of my balls, honestly. Smart three meaty balls. Supposedly one of the best ice cream places in Rome. Big old queue for it as well. Go sit down and shave. Oh boy. What flavour do you get? Oreo. Yeah. Coconut. Yeah. And a fruity, fruity nut one. Yeah. What'd you get? I got soy caramel, Nutella, and Oreo. No regrets. We've reached the, uh, I think this is like Italy's version of the old Bailey, like the cause of 
Justice, whatever it's called. That sounds like something from a superhero film. But it's a very impressive building. It's achy legs, but we're en route to Sephora, and then we're en route to the Spanish Steps after a rather disappointing ice cream. Mm. Let's go. We're both famous. Ferrari shows. But as per usual, they've got everything that we have there. And it's more expensive. You can get that down the road from where we live. Like me, really. Look at this, it's the exclusive the Aladdin Mac collection, which Shania has spotted. I know, I don't know much about makeup shows, so tell me, is this good makeup? It's pretty. It's all just a gimmick, isn't it? Very shiny. I like the lamp on the uh, bronzer. bronzer. Is that bronzer as well? No, it's a highlighter. I like the lamp on the highlighter. The it's cool packaging. Yeah. Yeah, it wishes my command powder blush. Is it? Turn that again. Where are we going, Shaws? Not up there. Up the steps. <laughs> no. We're doing it. To the top. He did, it wasn't that bad at all. Is it 150 steps or something? 154. That shows a lot quicker than I was as a child because that wasn't bad at all. Yeah, Easy. Yeah, I like it. It's nice, isn't it? It helps that it's lovely weather as well. Yeah, true. You can, can you see the basket? Yeah, is it there in the distance? We walked from there. <laughs> right. Very nice. Welcome to Piazza Novana. What a lovely view. What a lovely view. Perfect view of the uh, Building, don't know what it is. building which we don't know the name of and the sculpture there. Well. I'll film nearer later, but there's four different um, statues around it, and each one, each one, is personification of one of the lakes in Egypt, which is quite cool. So, and there's an epic building next to it, and this is the Piazza Nirvana. It's a lovely evening, very nice weather. Nice way to spend our last evening here in Rome. Very easily clothed in an iPhone. So, when in Rome, Pina Colada. Apple spritz. Pretty dark, apple spritz. Delish, so refreshing. The camera's very dark, but it's not that dark. No, I thought it would be very dark. Yeah. Oh boy. We've got an overcast as well. It's a... Uh, So each of these statues signifies one of the rivers in Egypt.
the end of a, another day. Really good day, got a lot done. Very hot, complete contrast to yesterday. Uh, did the Vatican, did Spanish Steps, uh, went, to Trevi, went to Trevi Fountain again at night, was very busy, so moved along swiftly from there. Went to the Piazza Novana, it's been very good. We're now back it's our last night, so we need to start packing this evening. So I think we're gonna do that. It's about 11 o'clock now, so we've really made the most of today, which is good. Uh, we leave tomorrow, which is sad. Our transfer is picking us up at half two. Our flight's about quarter past six. So yeah, um, busy getting things all packed. It's been a really good day. Maybe we're gonna buy some souvenirs tomorrow as well. So, goodbye. Dun 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 dun